out there in internet land. Last time we uh we beat the uh what was it? Hotland. And this time I have accidentally eaten a mega mushroom and I'm now giant. So game should be a lot easier now. Okay, no. This is just the map screen where you can go to a bunch of different worlds and stuff. As you can see, uh, there's that cake over there. Don't worry about that cake right now. It's not important. What is important is uh, go back to the Quilty Square. Now, I know you're asking. Oh, does E-Man 10? Why are we going back to the Quilty Square? Well, I don't know why there was a pause. Because we're going to go into these uh, other apartments that I don't think I ever actually showed off. But uh, a lot like with uh, Zeke, we can uh, decorate these as well. And we actually got... All the items we need for this in the uh, in Hotland. I mean, the Rainbow Arch we got in uh, Grassland, but we didn't get this one in Grassland. No, we uh, got that in Pyramid Sands, and it's actually the Camel Sofa, and that should lead to another uh, tenant. Wow, what a what an amazing look you have created for this room, Lord Kirby. Whoa, this room is really just wonderful. Is anyone currently living here? My name is Beedrick. Beedrick? Be Beedrix. Beedrix. And I will be the new tenant here. Pleased to meet you. He kind of looks like a like one of those pixel guys from Paper Mario. This the Super Paper Mario one, you know. The one that no one liked. No, I thought it was Sticker Star. Either way, so just like with yeah, just like with Zeke, you can talk to them and then you can uh Play any mini games. This one is a race. Collect 600 beads in one minute and 30 seconds. So we're gonna do that in flower fields, of course. So it's a lot more like Paper Mario than you think. I know people will get that reference because it's Mario. Anyway, so we got a race. Get 600 beads in one one. I almost said one hour. One minute and 30 seconds, and that is a. Uh, not right. So, this is basically the same thing as the Zeke one. It's just levels we already played. But it's a different minigame, technically. You just gotta get a crud ton of beads. And it's really easy, because beads literally fall out of almost everything. Like, there's a bunch of beads down here. I know that. Unless they remove them. Did they remove them? No, here they are. For some reason, I remember there being beads in those rocks. Rocks. Oh, hello, that's new. What the frick? I don't remember that. That wasn't an actual level, was it? They form like jellyfish guys, and we'll get into what those are. What the frick? What the frick is this? It's a wild in a UFO! And I got I got all the beads. What the heck was that? It's a freaking wild in a UFO! Okay, I guess they are slightly different. Brand new bee collecting stage that opened up. Let's go. How about no? Or maybe, yeah, I want to see what a... I kind of want to see what other levels that... uh. I found this while we were out collecting beads and stuff. He found this in the Wild East ship. Just like Zeke, you get wallpaper. A lot like Animal Crossing, I guess. Pretty sure I made that joke before, but it's not important. Uh, yeah, I really want to go... Do that again. See what other kind of random bead formations that uh, we can get to. Frick, I didn't mean to friggin... I wanted to sit on the sofa first. I really want to see what other like bead formations we could do. Dude, I know what you're doing. Wait, what? I know what you're doing. You're just trying to like... Hesitate going to the treat land stage because you're dreading it. What do you mean? I'm not dreading no treat land stage. It's treat land. It's, it's the best one. It's Kirby's favorite. Now, I know you're dreading it. You know why you're dreading it. Stop procrastinating and just go do it. Do I really have to? I mean, come on. I, I, you did the Waddle Dee with UFO. I, I, that's a good reason to, like, take up an entire episode just doing you, right? Uh, you might want to rephrase that. Wait. What? How so? Uh, never mind. Just, uh, just go do it. You got. You can't hesitate about it forever, you know. Ah, uh, but Treatland sucks. Well, Treatland doesn't suck, but it has this worst level. Well, you gotta go do it. You got fans to appreciate here. Fine. I do want to play your levels later. Probably just off camera. 
Well, I guess we're gonna go do Treatland now. As much as I am dreading doing Treatland, and you'll find out later. By the way, we can't do Apartment 202 yet. Just letting you know. As much as I'm dreading going to do it, I don't know why I'm walking there. You can just go to the map. I'm dreading this, but we're doing it. I really don't want to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. And, of course, with any treat land, you expect treats. So that's why we're going to a level made entirely out of toys. Yeah, that, yep, logic. That's logic for you right there. Time for toy tracks. I'm pretty sure that was the name. I didn't actually look. Now this level is pretty good because you can pull on these cars. Just check that out. Pull on the cars. And just look how cute it is. Just look at the little, like, uh, British soldier guys. They're just marching along in the background. It's so cute. And you can, like, throw Wildy at Waddle do and pull cars. It's so cute. It's so cute. But I hate this level so much. I hate... I, frick, I'm stuck. A Kirby? Okay. <laughs> I thought he let go automatically if you jumped. Also, look at these Wildies. Look at that. And you'll also ride their boxes, and it's so cute. It's so cool. But this level... <laughs> you'll see why I hate it later, but this part is so cool. This level is so cool. It's one of the better levels, you know. Apart from the whole... You know, the fact that it's terrible part. Frick. You can jump on that rocket ship. I'm pretty sure there's a secret up here. Oh, it's just a bunch of beads. Well, that works too. I thought it was going to be like a, I don't know, star patch or... Oh, frick. No! Oh, I thought he was going to miss it. I was going to be like, no, I ruined everything. But nope. But yeah, this part is so cool. And you could jump up here and get a treasure. And you get stuffed bear. This bear... Wow, this guard bear lost his post when he was caught napping on the job. Silly guard bear. Oh, hey, look, it's a new enemy. I don't know what their name is, but... What the heck? Whenever you jump on their head, they're like, Oh, what? What the frick? Uh, yeah, if they spot you, they're gonna charge at you like that. And then you can just do that. Much like every other enemy. Also, whoa, I see a two-star patch down there. I see two star patch. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. There's like little ducklings and a duck. Oh, it's so cute. I need to stop saying that, but it's so true. And this is so cool. Like, look, you can like stand on the marching guy's legs. And, uh, oh no, he's gonna crush you. Nope. Nope. You can just go into the background. It's a lot like uh, Mario Bros. 3. With that aspect. Whoa, that guy was like freaking out when I stole his... Spears, oh no, my spear! And then I killed him with it. Oh, frick. I wanted to go up there and grab this, because I'm pretty sure this is important. Or not. Also, that guy, those guys have beads for noses! Frick. I want my crystal star, please. No, I got crushed again! <laughs> no, crystal star. Thank you. Okay. Go through here. Walk around in the background a little bit. Grab this, frick! Okay, that was just me being dumb. Wow. I'm gonna lose that crystal star because this is so slow. No, my crystal star! Frick! Oh, frick! I, th I Eh, eh. There we go. Oh, that guy. Up there in the corner. He, uh, he's kind of the same as the other guy. In visual aspect. But he can do this. Ow, frick! <laughs> was not ready for that, apparently. Also, there's an exclamation point. We gotta follow it. Let's look at him. He's like, oh, bleh, you're dead. You follow the exclamation point, and then you find that it will. Come on. You're so slow. You can now rip this guy's hat off. I said rip his hat off. There we go. And you get a tin robot. This tin robot is a very expensive vintage item sought by collectors. Doesn't look anything like Rob. Yeah, that's the joke I'm going with. And also, he has hair. He looks a lot like... I can't think of anyone with that hairstyle. Well, there goes that joke. That joke just went down the drain. For shame. Oh, and um, here we have the other t tin robot. But this one's cool, because 
just look at it. You could climb up on his feet and his hands and his head. And he just moves like that. It's so cool. Like, this is one of the more creative levels in the game. A lot of this world actually has the most more creative levels. Oh, speaking of creative. Here we got a duck. And then we got to pull on it. Good job, ducky. There you go. You pull on it, and then it's like... It's so cute! It was so cute. It's so cool. It's awesome. Yeah, this world has more of some of the more creative levels in the game. I think it. I think it's more just like two of them that I'm thinking of right now, but they're still really cool. Oh, and then here is the army of robots. They literally just come out infinitely and then walk around. It is so cool. Da, 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 da. Da. I want to jump on that hand, please. Thank you. And get the beads. Whoa. There we go. No, wait for me. What I'll do? Get out of your way. Now, this part, you can't stand on the hands because then he'll crush you. Did that guy just kill the Waddle Do? How dare you murder that Waddle Do? Good sir. That guy just picked up Waddle Do. Oh, I want that Waddle Do. Can I have your Waddle Do, sir? I want your Waddle Do. Frick. I'll take this one. You can keep that one. Oh, no, never mind. I just knocked him off. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm going to take him anyway, then. Didn't realize I was standing on that platform. And then you get five star patch. Yay, five star patch. And then we go over here. Oh, stop picking up Waddle Do's. Ow. Frick. Oh, I thought he was gonna crush me. I thought I was gonna get crushed again. I was gonna be like, no! Oh, well. Um. I killed him. <laughs> I don't know why. I just kind of sort of did. Can... Friggin' heck. Okay, can I get up here now? No. I need to wait. There we go. Finally. Climb up here. Oh, this part. Oh, what the? Oh, okay. That whistle guy apparently summons a bunch of these guys. And then I murdered him. I forgot that guy was there. And this part is so cute. I see this bear, and he's crying. Oh, what are you sad about, Mr. Bear? Let's let's pull back that sheet and see uh, what you're so sad about. Oh, he's got a little rip in his foot. Aw. Don't worry, little guy. I'll fix it for you. And then he's happy, and then he gets a lollipop, because he was a good boy at the doctor's. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, I'm a sucker for cute things. Oh, now it's time for the cuteness to end. And it's time for the pain to begin. Because we got transformation. By far, the worst one. And the only one I hate. It is Train Kirby. And you have to point the Wiimote at the screen. Train Kirby. So Train Kirby moves on Mac. He can move back and forth with the B button. But why you gotta point the Wiimote at the screen? Because you gotta draw the track with the Wiimote. And it sucks quite a lot. Like, quite a bit, actually. It more sucks in, like, the multiplayer. Because a lot of the multiplayer actually changes the way transformations work. And this one, you gotta swap. Like, whenever you make a track, you just automatically swap to the other person. And it's not that good. And I have really shaky hands, so that probably doesn't make it a whole lot better. Because a lot of time, Kirby just, like, flies off the track. And does random crud that I don't want him doing. Like, friggin', friggin' heck. Because I, mm, a lot of this is probably my fault. I don't care. And, of course, the tracks eventually deteriorate. deteriorate. And it's not that good. And then... Friggin' heck! Oh, I got it. Anyway, you can. Whenever you're boosting like that, you could crush blocks. Oh, come on! Oh, okay, that works. And you can get the CD. And you get the awesome music. And then, friggin' heck! And then you can pick up these. I don't know what these do. I forgot they were even here. But I guess you can pick up a firework and a robot. And, uh, a toy car. Oh, and that's it. Yeah, that transformation sucks. I mean, I guess it doesn't suck as much as I remember it sucking. 
but I played a, a lot of the multiplayer, and the multiplayer makes that suck quite a lot. Like, it's a lot of sucking. A lot. Like, I already kind of described it, but like you said, like I said, every time you make a track, it switches to the other player, and then they have to make a track, and it's awful. It's really, really bad, and I hate it. Luckily, that's the only level of it that I actually played. Because that's the only level it is in the game. That I played. Yeah, you know what I'm sending. Let's just get, like, freaking Amy Rose's hammer. And I'm going to smack Sonic in the face. And hopefully we're going to move on to something a lot better. Than freaking trains. Because I do definitely do not like trains in that scenario. I do not like trains. I probably over-exaggerate that, because I actually wasn't really that bad. I remember that being a whole lot worse. Like, a whole lot worse. But, that's not important. You gotta go to Mushroom Run. So, in Treatland, we've had a toy level and a mushroom level. Uh-huh. Now, this is definitely one of the lesser creative levels. I probably didn't say that right, but... That probably wasn't really English, but whatever. Because this is just a bunch of mushrooms in a treat land. Hey look, it's the best enemy in the game again! And then you can bounce on the mushrooms. They're like little trampolines, and it's adorable. Just look at- look at- you look at Kirby just jumping on those trampolines. It's like, yeah! Trampolines! Whoa! And of course there's the bees. Not the bees. Not the memes! Hey! Hey! Die! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh, I wish I had that on screen. Oh, that bee just got, I don't know, insert pun here. Eh. Oh, why did I try to throw it downwards? Also, these yellow ones, I think make you, oh, frick. Yeah, if you ground pound on the mushrooms, you go a lot higher. And, uh, oh, frick, I forgot I was holding that. Maybe you go a little bit higher. Oh, and there's a, there's a. A jellyfish? I guess? In the forest. Because that's logically logical. But if you ground pound on these mushrooms, I think on the red ones too, you go a heck of a lot higher. Ow, frick, what the heck was that? Kirby, you made me lose two crystal stars. Kirby. You prankster. You jokey jokester. I don't know, I don't know. But these jellyfish guys, they, uh, shoot, uh, like, I don't know what that is. I guess I'm gonna call it cotton, because that's what it is, and I don't remember what it does. I think if you get hit with it, you, like, traps you for a few seconds. Oh, you can stand on them? Oh. Whoa, ah, frick! Uh, no, you cannot stand on them because they're electrified. I should have really figured, because they're jellyfish in, in a forest. Anyway, there's treasure down there. But in order to get that, we gotta go up here, and then get this thing. Oh, no, wait. That's the way you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go over here, and then just... Whee! Whoa, that was... That was not great. Oh, sorry. So not a great sound. I'm gonna have to cut that out. That was not a great sound. Mushroom bed. This bed is made of springy mushrooms that make for bouncy naps. It just sounds like um, every kid's dream. Have the bounciest bed. Whoa. Kirby, I did not tell you. Kirby, stop going that way. Ground pound. Thank you. Like, you know, kids, they just bounce on beds all day and night. And that one's made for bouncing. So, they aren't going to break anything and, like, cost you a crud ton of money. Yeah. Also, swinging mushrooms. So many mushrooms. It's like Mario's favorite hangout place. Because of all the mushrooms. That was probably a very obvious joke. I did not even need to explain it, but I did anyway. Because, I don't know, there's probably someone out there that doesn't know what the heck a Mario is. In which case, how the frick did you get here without knowing what a Mario is? But you probably also know what a Kirby is. I mean... I mean, it's kind of hard to know one without the other. You know? I mean, I guess not really. I don't know. Mushroom lamp. This novelty light looks like a big mushroom. Maybe it'll grow on its own. I don't really want a lamp that just spontaneously gets bigger and grows. That just seems weird. Also, I don't want a lamp that's also a mushroom. 
Like, that doesn't sound sanitary. Then again, neither does a bed. So, I guess I... None of those really sound that sanitary. Why is there a mushroom here? This is a trap. I get a feeling it's a trap. Oh no, it's just what, if you want to go back up, there's a mushroom there. Don't know why you would, but you could. I guess that's the most important part. And then there are these blue mushrooms. Oh, what the heck? They don't seem like to do a lot. But, ground pound and then wee! Just check that out. You just ground pound and wee! Oh, hey Yoshi, how you doing? Bye Yoshi. Wasn't expecting him to be here again. Oh, frick, no, don't get run over again! Don't get run over again! Aww, I thought I was free. I don't know why I was, like, hovering there. That was kind of weird. I mean, what I was doing. It just wasn't that smart. Wee! Whoa, what the heck? It just rides. It just sticks to the ground. It's like it's made out of glue. I love that enemy so much. Anyway. Oh, whoops. And then we here have, we have, like, a forest of mushrooms here. I, I guess that was kind of the whole shtick of the level, but whatever. Oh, cool! If you just, like, if you just, like, parachute on the mushrooms, you won't bounce. You can just stand on them and be like, Sup! I'm on a mushroom! And then that, that'd be the end of that conversation. Dude, your shell fell off. Can, can, can you, uh... Nope, you can't. You can't, uh, go up walls. I guess that makes sense, because you've been going up ramps. I don't know why you'd be going up walls. That'd be very concerning for the programmers. Not for me. It'd be useful for me. Because then it wouldn't be programmed very well. Hey. 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 Hey, can I have you real quick? I don't want to climb up there, so I can I just grab you? Can I just grab you? Come on, please. Please, no, I have to climb up there. Fine. No shortcut. No shortcuts for me. No shortcuts. Dang it. Boing. Thank you. And in here we have treasure. Yay, treasure. We got mushroom run uh, music. I sure do love some mushroom run music. I love a lot of music in this game. I don't know why I tried to do that again. I love all, a lot of music in this game. It's very well composed. But that just goes for kind of like Kirby music in general. Like Kirby music is just generally really, really awesome. Like especially its final boss themes. It's like perfect. Because oddly enough, a game about a freaking cute... Like whatever this is. A cute puffball has the most epic music whenever you do dang near anything. Grab pawn on that and you also get crystal star up here by the way. So, um, you know. Oh, wow, I only got two star. Well. At least I know I'm probably going to get this. Yay, got it. Not really much else I could go for there. Oh, and I didn't get gold. Frick. We got a cake. Finally, the name of this world will finally start making sense. Because now we got cake. Well, look how close that is. Come on, it's like practically touching. They're practically touching! That, that means it's supposed to be gold! It's a circle! It's a circle, though! It's a freaking circle, though! Fine. Cake. And then it grows out of the ground! By the way, this cake base is going to be the start of a very, very cool set of levels. Like, not only are the levels themselves cool, but the way they open is also incredibly cool. But, I will show you a next time. So, next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we're going to go to Sweets Park and maybe eat some cake finally. You know, in a place called Treatland. I would like some cake. You know? And uh, maybe find out what that weird... A swirling vortex in the sky is because I just saw that whatever that is up there we're gonna find out what that is next time you know maybe maybe we'll maybe we won't I don't know it's up to interpretation or maybe not I don't know you probably know because you probably played this game before unless you haven't then I don't know I'm gonna stop rambling now so I'll see you guys sometime in the future bye 
I don't know why, but I was like, when I was doing that, I was like waving my hands up in the air, even though you can't see me. You can't see me, so I don't know why I was doing it. It's incredibly, incredibly weird. I don't know. What's new? I feel like this is kind of worth mentioning that it's spring break! Whoa!